Hi, I'm uh, Nick Savaskan. I'm the head of the Translation and Neuro-Oncology Lab. Uh, we are uh, located at the University of Erlangen-Nürnberg in Germany. And I would like to introduce uh, our paper, which was recently published uh, at OncoTarget, entitled uh, Versatile Ex Vivo Technique for Assaying Tumor Angiogenesis and Microglia in Brain Tumors. So basically what we did was to establish a technique in which we uh, placed uh, brain slices in cultures and implanted um, gliomas. Gliomas are brain tumors which grow uh, destructive, infiltrative into brain tissue. And for those kind of tumors, we actually do not have uh, any curative therapy, meaning Patients suffering from gliomas uh, have a median survival of uh, nowadays 14.5 months, which is really disappointing, uh, realizing that, that there is more than uh, 40 years of intensive research on, on this type of uh, tumors. So what makes these tumors so specific and, and uh, so hard to to therapy. Well, first of all, we should keep in mind that uh, it's not only the tumor which is disease or part of the disease. It's also the microenvironment, meaning that uh, these type of tumors are in particular um, able to modify their microenvironment and to modify and manipulate their environment in the way that the environment fires and fuels those tumor cells. Second, what those uh, gliomas do is that they uh, get attached to existing vessels and on top they are also able to uh, generate own vessels which is called then um, uh, neovasculature or angiogenesis. So these two um, features in mind uh, motivated us to, to establish a technique which allows us to study these tumors in their natural microenvironment and which allowed us to do this also in a, let's say, uh, not high through output, but in a, in a way that we can generate high numbers to evaluate, for instance, new small molecules or whatsoever. So just using then uh, the classical syngenic uh, animal models uh, simply do not allow uh, researchers studying tumor tumor grows in vivo in a high number just um, due to the fact that you, you you would have to operate so many more animals and and these would extend the study time in a unacceptable way so the model we establish um, is called vascular glioma impact method or short abbreviated uh, vogen um, and the good thing about this method is that you can generate multiple uh, single experimental um, setups with uh, just one um, brain tissue. And this really accelerates the speed uh, of and, and the numbers of, of your experiments in the way that you are able to test then these type of tumors uh, with multiple, uh, for multiple uh, reagents, chemotherapeutic agents, combinations of therapeutic agents, or even genetic approaches. So what is this method basically? So the method um, uh, includes the brain, which is the, the natural environment of, of gliomas, and then a uh, way where you implant uh, these tumors, the glioma cells. And this uh, also allows you now to implement uh, tumor cells which you can, um, can stain before you implant these tumors 
into brain tissue, or you can uh, even genetically modify those tumors in a way um, research, researchers like to focus a certain pathway or um, to, to uh, make them um, bioluminescent or uh, uh, expressing fluorescent proteins for monitoring these uh, tumor cells in the in the brain tissue. The um, advantage of this technique is now that you are able to monitor tumor cells and in the same time you are able also to monitor the host cells. And host cells um, means that within the brain tissue you have neurons. These are the functional units of the brain. But you also have astrocytes, which uh, are also an important uh, cellular constituent of the brain, making neurons even uh, fun functional. And uh, you can uh, also monitor oligodendrocytes. These cells are myelin-producing uh, cells, um, wrapping up uh, axons, meaning the extension of neurons. And um, very important uh, in, in terms of uh, tumor uh, immunology, the uh, microglial cells. Microglial cells are immune competent cells of the, of the brain. And they normally are very aggressive against any foreign cell type invading or intruding the brain tissue. However, uh, when it comes to glioma cells, these immune response mediated by microglial cells is uh, compromised. And with the Vogem technique, we are now in the position to monitor all these host cells of the brain and their interaction with tumor cells. And another advantage of the, the, the Vogem technique is that it allows researchers to do time-lapse monitoring, meaning you can now monitor the behavior of tumor cells over time in, in a real-time procedure and the interaction with uh, all these host cells of the brain, meaning astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, neurons, as well as microglial cells. So what we did in our Oncotarget paper was now, first of all, to monitor microglial cells in, the, uh, in their interaction with glioma cells. And secondly, then, we monitored uh, tumor vessels, how they uh, get formed, with which speed, and, and what type of morphology they generate in comparison to the vasculature of normal brain tissue. So the good thing in, uh, within this Vogem system is that you are able to um, monitor your control uh, brain slice with the tumor implanted brain slice in the very same well. And, and this is um, something you, you really like to have a, a, a really robust control, uh, which then makes your whole system also stable in analyzing those things. And uh, what, what we did in this uh, Oncotarget paper was um, also to use um, chemotherapeutic agent, which is uh, in the moment uh, standard in, in, in the therapy of glioma cells. And this is uh, called a temozolamide, uh, a drug which uh, patients normally do um, accept quite well and which is also uh, a drug which uh, can uh, reduce the speed of growth of glioma cells for a certain time. As I said, we do not have any cure against this uh, type of tumors in the moment. And we now um, worked out how temozomalite now affects uh, glioma cells in the Vogem assay and how temozomalite also affects uh, tumor vessels. And all these um, uh, procedures uh, can be implemented in the Vogem system, and uh, which allows you now to uh, monitor your uh, drug of interest 
or your Malkal of interest in a uh, in vivo like system in a in a way where you also can uh, monitor uh, a high number of of uh, brain slices in a very short time. And altogether, these um, features of the Vujim um, are uh, very much in favor of, of, of doing these experiments before you uh, normally then enter uh, in vivo assays by using then living animals with all the restrictions. And especially here in Germany and I think in general in the European Union, we have um, to... Uh, implement this uh, 3R uh, concept, which really makes it hard to, to, to uh, apply for an animal uh, experiment which is not well defined and which is also maybe, let's say, uh, going into a fishing exp uh, experiment uh, uh, way. Therefore, the, the Vojim essay is, is in, in this uh, sense, uh, very good method to to even do a shot into the blue by by um, using uh, your uh, molecules of interest and when you're gonna uh, if you're gonna uh, see effects in the system then this seems to be very robust then these um, findings are probably also very likely to to be also monitored in an in vivo system